Welcome to Indian Movie Recap. Today we are going to see a 2004 Tamil horror movie named Yavroom Nalam. Manohar who is an engineer moves into a new apartment, 13B on the 13th floor with his family, fulfilling his life's biggest dream, they buy the house and loan for a tenure of 20 years. They encounter a series of small but strange incidents such as milk getting spoiled daily, which are regarded as inauspicious by his family. The photos could not be nailed in the puja room. Manohal calls an electrician to drill a hole in the wall, but the electrician gets electrate by high voltage. The elevator in the apartment works for everyone in the building except Manohar. One day Manohar's niece takes a picture of him in the house. The photo turns out to be distorted. At first Manohar does not notice. Meanwhile the women in the family get hooked on a new TV show Yavroom Nalam. The show is about a family eerily similar to Manohar's who have also just moved into a new house as they have. The things that happen in Manohar's house was shown in the television. The women in the family didn't notice it. He notices that his camera takes distorted pictures of him while he is in the apartment, but not while he is outside the apartment. One day Manohar stays back in home sending his family to a function and his sister to college to get her results. Manohar was sitting in the hall and the TV suddenly started at 1 p.m. Manohar tries to turn it off, but it does not turn off. Manohar is made to watch the serial. As the serial unfolds, Manohar realizes that the incidents that happen in the serial reflect what is happening to his family. On that day's episode, the sister in the serial gets good marks in her exams and passes with 69.73 percentile. In the same times Manohar's sister comes home happily and says him that she scored 69.73 percentile. Manohar is shocked. He keeps the secret to himself. On the next episode he finds that his wife is going to become pregnant. He understands that the TV program is telling him the future of his family. In one episode he finds out that his wife is about to get in an accident and later suffering a miscarriage. But he does not take this serious. His wife Priya meets with an accident in the kitchen in which she loses her unborn child. Priya is saved by their longtime family friend and doctor, Dr. Balu, who owned an hospital. The rest of the family remains oblivious to the similarities in the serial and Manohar prefers it that way to avoid panic. Things take a turn for the worse in the serial, and Manohar becomes terrified that the same might happen to his family. He now wants to know who is behind the making of the TV show. He goes to the production company of the serial and asks about the serial Yavroom Nalam. To Manohar's horror, he finds out that Yavroom Nalam is a different TV reality show and realizes that the serial appears only in his house every day at 1 p.m. One day Manohar finds their blind neighbor's dog trying to find something in the sand. Manohar stops the dog and takes it to its owner. Later that night, he asks his wife about the latest episode of the serial. She reveals the story to him of the neighbor's dog digging something, and the serial finishes for the day. Manohar then wakes up at midnight and digs the ground on a rainy night, finding a diary with photographs pasted of the same family coming in the serial. However, there was also a picture of another guy he hadn't seen in the serial in the photos. He then unravels a terrifying secret. The apartment they live in shared their address with a house where a family of eight, similar to Manohar's family, was butchered back in 1977. It was the family of a TV news anchor named Chitra. On the day of Chitra's engagement, an ardent fan of Chitra, Sri Ram, wanted to stop the engagement because he loved her dearly and said to them that if he did not get Chitra, then he would kill everyone without leaving a piece of them. But, he fails in convincing them. 
So, in sadness, he committed suicide the very next day. It was revealed that all members of Chitra's family were murdered with a hammer on the same day as Sri Ram's death. The blame rested on the lunatic brother in the family, as he had been seen with the hammer breaking the TV in his house. The police officer investigating the case also committed suicide by hanging himself in the same house. Manohal and his policeman friend Shiva meet the mentally disturbed brother Senthil, who apparently goes crazy after seeing a TV show in an asylum. He draws cross in the wall with his blood. They then meet Chitra's former fiancé Ramchandar, who tried to plead for Senthil's innocence because he got covered in blood while he hugged the bodies of his family. After researching one night, Manohar has a nightmare of the 13B murderer climbing the stairs to kill his family. When Manohar tries to climb the stairs, he always ends up on the second floor. Suddenly, Manohar wakes up from sleep, and he realizes that the events that took place, from digging the diary of photographs to the climbing the stairs, are actually happening in his dream. Then he asks his wife about what happened in the serial. She explains that, all the members of the family were brutally murdered by someone using an hammer. Manohal gets scared and asks about the identity of the killer but is horrified to hear that the identity of the killer will be revealed on the next episode, which will be broadcasted after, today's. He goes to sleep in fear, suddenly he hears TV noise in the middle of the night. He goes to the hall and witnesses the climax of Yavrum Nalam when they are showing the murderer's identity. Manohar's face is shown as the killer. Not wanting to risk his family's life, he tells Dr. Balu to book tickets and send his family members somewhere without telling him so that they would be safe. Manohar asks his friend to lock him in, Dr. Balu's home. Manohar then notices a sludge hammer from Balu's house and then remember that in the climax of the serial, the murder had a claw hammer. While Manohar had a sludge hammer so there were two persons with hammer. He finds few newspaper cuttings in Balu's house which had article on Sri Ram's death. Manohar starts to connect all the dots and finally finds who killed Chitra's family. It was Dr. Balu. Balu arrives at Manohar's home and gives the flight tickets to Manohar's wife. There was a power cut in Manohar's home. Suddenly, the television starts when he comes home and he sees Chitra's spirit. The 13B murderer is revealed to be Dr. Balu. He killed them in the 1970s on behalf of his brother, the spurned fan, and also killed the police officer who caught him red-handed. The ghosts of the family members starts to haunt him. He hallucinates the members of Manohar's family with that of Chitra's and takes a claw hammer and starts attacking Manohar's brother. Manohar reaches in time with the sludge hammer and kills Dr. Balu. The story ends with Manohar living a normal life with a new dog in the family. The milk is not getting spoiled anymore. They bring Senthil home and the apartment's lift finally works for Manohar. When Manohar uses the lift the next day, he receives a call from Dr. Balu saying that while the 13B family haunts the TV, he haunts Manohar's phone. As the call ends, the elevator drops. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe for more videos.